<laughs> Today is the day that I finally ride the line top to bottom. I've been documenting it for almost a year now and I haven't had that last jump done for months and months. It's finally done though and it's ready to ride so I'm a little nervous but pretty excited. When I first found this forest I was just so excited because it's like covered in moss, it's really green. There's a really rad little mossy canyon down there that I wanted to build a step up jump through. This was the first big project of the entire build. Before I even had that lip built, I scouted out this beautiful green little gully here and decided I need to have a bridge across it so I can build a big jump back there. And I had no idea what to do because I'm pretty inexperienced with woodwork. Luckily, my buddy Chris Snodgrass, he came out and volunteered to help me. He's a trail builder in town here. He does all the ridgeline crew stuff. We found like these huge pieces of deadfall cedar throughout this green gully. And they were awesome because like cedar like that is worth its weight in gold, it's so nice. I wanted to use them for the bridge, like this is a very expensive bridge. Here it is, the big jump, it's finally done. Really exciting day and I'm finally gonna ride it. And it's looking really good. It looks way less intimidating now that everything's together, nice and buffed out. We forgot firewood today, all our wood is wet. But we got a bit of flame happening here. Warm up. This is my warm up. <laughs> I'm just trying to like imagine the speed in my mind right now because it's such a hard jump to judge. I've never built a jump like this where the gap is so exposed. Like I've, I've built big dirt jumps where it's like pile of dirt, pile of dirt. But when you have a hollow takeoff and landing, everything looks bigger. It's kind of sharper edges even though I have a case pad. So it's a lot, lot more intimidating. When you're riding into it, it looks a lot bigger than it probably actually is. So in an ideal situation, everything will work perfectly first try, no braking, no pedaling. I'll just have to commit to it from the top of the step up landing, roll through. How fast do I go? <laughs> okay, first go at it. <laughs> first run in. <laughs> It's always hard being the first one to do something. Maybe if I saw someone hit this, I would like right away just go for it. It almost looks smaller from up here. I'm just glad to get that out of the way, man. Sweet. Yeah. I can make it bigger now. <laughs> That's the thing about this, like, so it's not always the size that's the scary part, it's like, just the unknown. If you see where I landed, I'm like, more than a bike length from the top of that landing. And that looks like, no brake checking, but I'm also not working for the speed, I'm just like cruising. So, I actually built the gap a little too short. But, that's a good problem to have, it's better than having something way too big. So, I'm, st I'm stoked now, now I can just like, take some brake checks into it and have fun on it. Now that I know that last jump works, I'm just buzzing on adrenaline right now. It's so good. I'm hiking up to the very top, all the way up to the road, and I'm gonna hit this entire line top to bottom so you can see the whole thing complete, finally. Hours of hard work has paid off. I am so happy right now. <laughs> this is awesome.
<laughs> Deep. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's day two. I'm super fired up because I'm not nervous like yesterday. I know everything works. It's a lot of fun. And we got Brett coming out today to take photos with us. And then Chase Thomas, this local kid who's helped me with some digging. His mom's letting him skip school today so he can come out and ride with me. I'm stoked for Chase. I think he's gonna have no problems on the ramp and it'll just be a good session all around. Can we do this in one trip? This is how much I hate taking two trips. Right now I'm just gonna clean up the divots from yesterday, keep it packed in. With features like this, you don't really just like build it and forget about it like a basic single track trail. You always wanna be maintaining it and keeping it as dialed as possible. Like take a brake check off to the lily pad, like just a solid brake check and cruise off it. Have you hit one right there today, hey? Was that yesterday? That was yesterday when I went slow off it. I landed here, perfect. I landed here. Yeah. I thought I thought it'd be okay to crash on today, but it's a bit frozen. It's yeah, hurt. but it's soft down here, so if you fall, like you're not gonna land on the hill anyway. You're probably gonna yeah. tumble to the bottom. <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, it'll probably thaw. Yeah. Later. Just don't plan to fall, and you're fine. Feeling pretty good. Pretty hyped to hit the jump finally. Been eyeing it up for a while, ever since we started building it. So pretty stoked to hit it. It's never fun to ride alone, so I love having Chase and Evan out here and. Those kids are so stoked. They're only like 15 years old. They're just learning how to ride bigger stuff. And they're at that prime age where they're pretty fearless. And to have someone like me out here, I think it's really important for them because it gives them that confidence they need. They can see the speed I'm hitting stuff at. They know it's possible and they're not blindly going into potentially very dangerous hits for the first time and learning how to get the speeds right. So if I can make it a little easier for them and have fun having a bigger crew out here, then it's like kind of a win for everyone. Yeah, that case good. Did you? Yeah. spend hours on your own in the forest digging and you don't really know how long it's going to take to finish something and it's literally hours of building for seconds of airtime or seconds of shredding through a nice loamy section of trail. It's not really a short lived feeling because you can come back for years to come and keep on sessioning it. As rad as this line is, I'm already scouting and looking up on Google Maps areas I can dig and work on next. I just want to get into the next project.